Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. My name's Chris and today we are going to look at some of the icon sockets that we have here as well as the combination wrenches, the ratcheting wrenches and how tight the detent is on the ratchets and compare it to some of the snap-on products. And the big thing that I wanna talk about is the tolerance on these. Are they within spec? Are you gonna round off your fasteners? And what is the warranty? on the Icon sockets. So stick around, we're gonna find out if this is something that you should spend your hard-earned money on or if you should just kick it to the curb. So let's go take a look at some tolerances on some Icon products. So one thing I wanted to mention, while the Harbor Freight Icon sockets do come with its own tray, you may want to save space and pick up something like this Mechanic Time Saver Magnetic Socket Holder, which is roughly the same footprint for length and width from a Snap-on product. You're just able to fit your entire shallow and deep sockets in the same footprint as that Snap-on product. But not only that, they come and they carry the 3 8 inch drive and they do have a half inch drive as well. So now let's get on and see some of those measurements. So we are all zeroed out. We're ready to get some baseline specs and we're gonna use our snap-on socket set here for that. Here we have a 13 millimeter and to be within class one manufacturing specs, this needs to be under 13.24 millimeters. Here we can see they're coming in at 13.23. So we'll measure another flat here. 13.22. And here is our third and final measurement. 13.22. So we can see that is under the 13.24. So that just barely, barely makes it. Now let's measure one more here for good measure. We'll measure the 10 millimeter. Everybody really likes 10 millimeter, but 10 millimeter is really hard to measure. So this needs to be under 10.19 in order to be within class one ISO specifications. So this is coming in at 10.17. So that does just barely make it. Here again, 10.18. So again, that's within spec. So now let's measure a 10 millimeter icon and compare that. So you can see we're still zeroed out. And the 10 millimeter icon is coming in at 10.15. And we'll go ahead and measure that again here on the flats. 10.15. And our third and final time, 10.16. So all of those really within spec. So now we'll measure the 13 millimeter icon. We are still zeroed out. Let's go ahead and measure this 13 millimeter up. Remember that our snap-on one was around 13.23. And here you can see we're coming in at 13.19. Again, on another flat, 13.20. And on our final measurement here, that's coming in at 13.20. So definitely tighter than the snap-on socket and definitely within spec for both of them. So here's a 12 millimeter snap-on socket. Also gets you a chance to take a look at these and know that Harbor Freight is switching to an in-store warranty now for the sockets. If they're in stock, they'll go ahead and swap them out. 12.22 for the snap-on. 12 12.23. 12.22. So let's see, that is gonna be within spec because it's 12.24. So we're still zeroed out. Now let's grab the Icon 12 millimeter. And we'll see what that measures out at. Twelve 
12.18, 12 12.19. 12 oh, my hand's getting tired. So here we have a 13 millimeter stubby. We're gonna go ahead and measure the open end here. 13.18. So now we'll go ahead and measure the anti-slip grip 13 millimeter icon. So that's coming in at 13.14. Here we have the icon 13 millimeter ratcheting wrench. Let's go ahead and measure this one up. I bet this one will come in around 13.16 or 15. Here we go, 13.16 on that Icon 13 millimeter ratcheting wrench. All right, so just for good measures, we are going to measure the 19 millimeter ratcheting wrench. Go ahead and make sure we're zeroed out there. All right, so let's get this measured here. So I bet this one comes in at about 19.2. So the larger you go up in size, the more tolerance you're allowed to have. So this actually came in at 19.19. So again, that is really, really nice and tight for tolerance. So again, this is the Icon 19 millimeter. We are zeroed out. This will probably read around 19.2 based on what everything else has been running us so far. 19.22. We'll rotate here once. 19.22. And we'll do the third time is the charm. 19.22. So that's looking really, really good. All these tolerances are within specs. So if we look at the table that we throw up here, we can see that the ISO 691 standards tell us that a class one manufacturer for a 13 millimeter should be under 13.24 for the maximum tolerance on that. And we can see that we come in well under that. And as well as a class two manufacturer that might be like Craftsman, Stanley Tools, Husky Tools, and even some of the Pittsburgh Pro, that would come in with a not so tight tolerance. And the last thing I wanted to look at here, so here we have a snap-on ratchet. We're gonna go ahead and throw on a 17 millimeter here. And just to let you guys all know, so like this snap-on one is so tight, I can't get it off with a single hand. And there we go, it is off the socket now. So if we were to pull up like a Pittsburgh Pro here, put that same 17 millimeter socket on, you can see that we can pull it off really, really easy with a single hand, as well as we have a tech in here. We'll put that socket on there. And again, we can pull that off with one hand. And then we'll go ahead and get an icon here. And we'll put that same 17 millimeter on there. And we cannot pull that off with one hand. Oh, there we go. So it took a lot of work to be able to get that off with one hand. We were finally able to do that. And we're not able to get that off on the snap-on with one hand. So guys, the last update that I had is, is I recently heard some fantastic news that if you have any problems with the Icon sockets, the warranty on them is going to be just like the Pittsburgh Professional. So it looks like we're gonna find out what happens as well as everybody else on YouTube, what we're gonna do and how we warranty out an Icon ratchet. Yeah, it's lifetime, so we just swap them. We don't have to do nothing special with that? We just swap them on uh, the bottom has two little circles that you will want to cut out and then oh, you will want to jiggle go. very very nicely <laughs> so i'll show you here there's a secret here and so on these you're going to want to put your hands lightly on there and you're going to want to typically just push from here and it looks like this one's really glued in there pretty good 
put there, and then you're able to slide that right out. It's almost like I've done this with about 15 or more different tools, but we'll go ahead and let her check that out. Oh, you're good to go. You good, sir? Good to go. Alrighty. So guys, we got a ratchet swapped out pretty darn easy. Hopefully you have an experience just like this. They have the item on the floor. They're going to swap you out for that item. So the icon sockets, if you broke a, uh, grabbed an 18 millimeter, they're gonna go ahead and take that from a new package. If they don't have it in the store, then you'd have to call that 1-800 number and you'd figure out things and they'd get that mailed out to you. Other than that, Harbor Freight's really putting their customers first. They're really listening to everybody in the tool community as well as on YouTube. So while I only showed you a fraction of the items from the Icon product line that I have, they all were within specs because if they weren't, I would take them back. While Harbor Freight's pitching them comparable to Snap-on ones, they really, really do look like them. They kind of feel like them. They're slightly heavier if you weigh them out per gram. Each socket is going to be a little bit heavier because they are a little bit taller but also some of the sidewalls, you know, they're really, really comparable in thickness. And I really, really have no complaints about these sockets other than, you know, maybe you should throw in like a free hat. If I spend a couple hundred bucks, maybe you could also throw in like a free screwdriver. So if you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you think that you can add something of value to the comment section, go ahead and comment down below. And as always guys, work smarter, not harder. And I'll catch you in the next video. Yep. So those slides are really strong. 